Studio A. That's right, I'll follow you in. I've got a mic for our person here. We just sanitized this mic, but if you could put it somewhere near your face hole. Okay. Like here-ish or wherever feels comfortable. Right here. I think that should do. Is that better? Is that clear? Perfect. Perfect. Awesome. So, I can obviously see a lot of really talented artwork here. Yes. Tell me a little bit about it. Who are you? Of course. Hi, I'm Morgan Hatton. I'm the Student Services Coordinator at Gage Academy of Art. And I've also actually been uh, a part of the Georgetown Atelier last year. Okay. Um, so I know this place pretty well. Yeah. Um, so up here, we see some pretty amazing paintings done by Tania Sims. She's the lead instructor of the Georgetown Atelier. So this atelier um, primarily focuses on classical um, drawing and painting, but also it has an imaginative realism aspect to it. Um, that students can choose to kind of pursue if they like. Um, there's a range of styles. If you look up the art across the walls, these are done by past students. So we have uh, actually who is one of the part-time instructors here. He does a lot of amazing uh, plein air work and so, and a lot of great contemporary work as well. So um, he also brings sort of a contemporary element uh, to the Georgetown Atelier. That's done by alumni, Brett Knuckles, um, who I studied with last year. And quite a few of these are done by, you know, past alumni. Um, this is done by Tiffany Day, the lovely Tiffany Day, who also has a studio out there. Yeah, she's great. And she's also a part-time instructor here. Along with Christopher Remmers, um, one of his big paintings over there. Um, pretty cool right next to uh, Tania Sims. So I think he just did that one recently. Um, but yeah, he's also a great instructor here. And so, um, yeah, this is uh, the work. Um, it's really cool to see. And it's a, a very intensive program. So um, all the students have their studies and they do projects throughout the year. So, so this is one of the houses Yeah, so there's it's a three year program primarily. Um, so first year you do drawing, uh, second year you do painting in grisaille, which is black and white, and then third year is the year in color. So finally you get to um, do color paintings, and um, it's also kind of your thesis year if you like to think about it that way, where you kind of make your big works. You make get to focus on okay, what do I want to do as an artist? Um, you know, so it's kind of the culmination of all these things. And um, yeah, we even have this. Oh, of course. Oh, okay, perfect. Awesome. <laughs> no, Vicky. Yeah, we even have a student up here working on a cast project. Um, so she's working hard. Reminds me of last year, a lot of the times it would be early mornings get your coffee nearby and stay late. And um, yeah, it's really awesome. So Studio A houses a Georgetown Atelier. And then over in Studio B, which we can take a look at. And you're welcome to come up along here. Is, well, we this kitchen area used to be used a lot more. Of course now, not so much, but you know, people do, you know, leave their stuff here and oh, yeah. yeah, enjoy the space. A comfy space for everybody. Oh yeah. Apparently a story about uh, this wood, apparently somebody, one of the instructors, I can't remember who, but they told me that this wood was from a, a ship actually. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's what I heard. Maybe. Don't know if it's true, but I think it is. is I would hope so. It is correct. We have it confirmed. Alrighty, let me find a light here. Light, where are the... Oh, a very immersive experience. Find the light, I think it's over here. Where are you? 
<laughs> no, that's the heater. <laughs> I think maybe downstairs it might be a little bit better. Whoop. Don't want to push anything. Okay. <laughs> you all get the light first. All right. Okay. Come on. You're somewhere here. As you can tell, I don't. There it is. Beautiful. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. There we go. I can see. Okay, sweet. So, this is Studio B. So, this is where. And you guys are welcome to walk on down. So Studio B is where the Flack Atelier and Kimberly Trowbridge's Atelier um, meet up or, well, uh, where there's live streams. So Flack meets up here around once a week with his students. And then he meets up at our North location up in Capitol Hill once a week. And then Kimberly uh, streams from here and also from her studio. So um, yeah, so here's some of Flack's work. Now he is, um, his atelier is a sh uh, drawing atelier. So primarily focused on drawing and structure. And we see a lot of the structural anatomy um, kind of, con constructing the head, the torso, um, really gorgeous work. And we see more of his work here. We're going over spheres. And then knees, legs, all that sort of stuff. But yeah. We are always taking new students, correct. Um, and then also something to note, you know, with COVID going on, we still offer ways for our students to learn. So if you can't for whatever health reasons, or let's say you live in a different state, but still want to participate, we do do live streaming um, and also have online ateliers as well. So I know our still life atelier is all online. And then for our other ateliers, we do offer live streaming. So if students want to work from the model, it can be live streamed. Um, and then also the demos we can offer, like give recordings to those students and we're able to make it work. So the instructors will still work with that student, you know, give them critiques, give them what they need and they'll still be able to learn. So um, yeah, we, we try and make it work for every student. And, um, but yeah, for the students that, you know, still want to do in person, we, you know, do have all these like sort of health regulations in place to keep it safe. We have the models wear masks, um, students wear masks, of course. And um, yeah, it's been going great so far. And, you know, people have been making amazing work. So cool. yeah, really loving it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. It's his mic on. Yes. His mic is on. <laughs> but is it working? I love your guys' hats, by the way. It's pretty sweet. It's pretty cool. And, uh, you know, we just every year for the Kingwise Very Open House, this blue light is flooded in all sorts of merriment and we wanted to, you know, at least have a droplet in that Mary bucket this year. Of know? course, of so. course. Last year's was amazing. I had a grand old time. Yeah, it was my first time participating. And so, yeah. Oh, very cool. Yeah. But anyways, this is some of the work. Can you hear me now? Yes. <laughs> All right, well, amazing. Awesome. Um, well, uh, that's it. Not to jump in, but uh, Please jump in. I, uh, you said last year was your first time for the big Equinox Open House? Yes. Isn't it such an amazing event? It's the most amazing event. So I invited my family to come to the Open House, and it was their first time visiting Georgetown. Nice. And um, they loved it. Like, my sister was like, there's, uh, how did she say? She kind of compared it to Portland in a way. Uh, <laughs> The sort of DIY, you know, all the artisans, she really liked that aspect of it. And 
I love the aspect of it. All of the like food trucks out and like there was singers and performers and it was it was amazing. My friends came down and they're like, whoa, Georgetown has like a lot to offer. And like, it's, Definitely. it was amazing. So, you know, whenever that can, <laughs> whenever it comes back, whenever it comes back, it'll be, it'll be great. But for now, this will do, you know, for sure. For sure. We're yeah. happy they'd be here. And you know, you heard it here, folks, whenever things, whenever people are possible again, yes. then Georgetown will be a great place and we'll see you there. But uh, do you have any, uh, closing statements for the world at large. Uh, you know, we talked about the amazing artwork that's possible here to to explore and learn talents and and you know go through the, those stages through your program. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. And um, uh, I don't know how much anyone could hear me, but I'm sure they heard you, and that's the important part. <laughs> uh, you did, you did pretty good. I love walking around and seeing what everybody is drawing and painting and learning. Yeah. Anything you want to send us away with? Yeah. So I, and you know, that's the key to the program. It's a, it's a everyday sort of thing where you're just kind of slowly drawing, slowly observing. And um, it seems kind of slow at first, but then you look at all this work that you make and it's incredible. And um, yeah, I definitely would love to, you know, return to the program someday or just, mm -hmm. you know, um, yeah, it's, it's incredible and definitely recommend if anyone is interested, we do offer tons of scholarships every for year, sure, sure. a donor scholarship. So we do offer resources for people that, you know, are like, hey, this program seems cool. And so you're like, hey, maybe. Uh, does it offer yes, we do. And awesome. um, yeah, you're welcome to call. Mm -hmm. um, We've got some information from you guys on the screen right now. So that's excellent. And yeah, it's very cool. Uh, I love just being in here and seeing everything that people are doing and then see come out as well, because so many artists that we've talked to on this tour have been, oh yeah, you know, I, I took part in that a while ago and I just moved next door and I'm still doing great. And it's, yeah. you know, it's, it's fun to see. It is, Absolutely. it really is. Yeah, I miss this place. So it's always nice to come back and, you know, mm -hmm. really see the work, so. Very cool. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you so much. Well, I think we're gonna head to a commercial break pretty soon. And it's lovely to, Come and hang out, and I'm sure we'll see you next year at least, hopefully sooner. Of course. You as well. For sure.